Ginny Masters rarely blew her temper. Today could prove the exception. She silently counted to 10 while studying her boss's frosty expression. Diana Jackson, owner of Hotel Jackson Seattle, had to be one of the most difficult people on the planet. And working in the high end of the hospitality industry, where most guests at this boutique hotel acted overly entitled, Ginny had met more than her fair share of thorny people. I know I already informed you of that reception, Genevieve. Diana's nostrils actually flared. I'm absolutely certain of it. If you had told me, I would have scheduled it accordingly. Ginny fingered the edges of her tablet, standing her ground, but knowing full well that Diana would win. Never mind that Diana had totally blanked on her best friend's daughter's last minute wedding reception. It made no difference now. Ginny would receive the brunt of the blame for Diana's blunder and be forced to pick up the pieces. Oh, I'll admit it was short notice when I told you. Diana's voice softened ever so slightly as she placed a placating hand on Ginny's shoulder, a familiar gesture when Diana was about to manipulate the opposition to her advantage. Poor Vivian was so distraught that her dear Rebecca planned to elope. I promised her the skylight room as a way to coax Rebecca back to sanity. After all, they are a very influential family in Seattle. Diana paused to stare up at the chandelier, rubbing her chin as if deep in thought or perhaps inspecting for dust. Ginny decided to try empathy. I can understand you wanting to help your friend out, but I- I am certain Vivian booked this in early April, maybe even March, and I told you about it the same day. Diana's softness turned brittle as she locked eyes with Ginny. Rebecca's reception will be held right here on Saturday night. Her hand slipped from Ginny's shoulder. I will try to overlook your negligence to schedule it as you were instructed. It's not the first time you've let me down. Now fix this. But the Bremer's 50th wedding anniversary is booked here on Saturday night. It's been locked in since early February. Ginny tapped her tablet, pointing at the date. 